Hey y'all, today I'm going to be showing y'all how to install golf cart um, bushings, leaf spring bushings, with a little sleeve too. I'm going to start by chucking the wheels, just using an old piece of wood, because you will be jacking up the cart. Get yourself a jack and jack it up. I'm going to be jacking it up. Make sure to not get it on the plastic, make sure you have it on the frame. Now that the cart's totally off the ground, you can actually see that there's no bushing here or here. You're supposed to have one on both sides and then a sleeve that goes along the bolt, which it's right there. So we're gonna have to take all that apart. Yeah, we're gonna take the top one first. Actually, yeah, we'll just take the top one off. So this is a 14 millimeter, that side and a 14 millimeter on my impact. And there's actually supposed to be, let me move all that for you. There's actually supposed to be um, bushings on the top too. So let's get this undone. This might be kind of tight. What problem I just ran into is my sleeve is stuck on this bolt. So let me show you how to get that off. Wait, you want to hit bracket hit the bracket it's getting it down a little bit and does not want to come off so you want to keep hitting that bracket until the sleeve can come off it's, it's rusted onto the whole thing There you go. So I'm just going to probably clean this up a little bit with some steel wool. So what I'm going to do is just clean up inside of here with the steel wool. So I'm going to put the upper ones in. And put this through. Do the lowers. Okay, so what I ended up doing is I lubed these things up and don't put in this one first. Put in this one first and put the pin in and then put this one on because you cannot hit this with a hammer as well as you can with this and then you can kind of get it on. Okay, now that I've gotten the brackets all cleaned up, now we can put install them back on. Just look for the side that has the wear and put them on like that. Other side on. That hole. And the leaf spring are not aligning, so what I'm gonna have to do is let me show y'all. Push this up. A bit more so the other side can get through. Hold on, I gotta get the other side. Okay, there we go. Tighten them up. Same thing on the top. Look, you see all, all that movement? Yeah, it's gone. Okay, I got it off. That was actually a little bit harder than I thought because black battery chase is blocking all your access to everything. There's the bolt with, of course it has the sleeve rusted onto it, so let's get that off. So guys, I cannot get this thing off. So what I'm gonna have to do is just reuse it, put it back in the bush and, you know, so. Cannot get it off, don't wanna break the bolt, so we're just gonna reuse this. Okay, so I took off the wheel and, uh, well we have a bit of an issue. 
this does not want to go down for me to get the bushing in. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to push this down with the crowbar, get it in, and slip it back up and then put the bolt back in. But I need to clean it out with steel wool for first. So we're going to do that a little bit. I just have it resting on the new battery tray I installed. Now this can pop and hurt your fingers, so just be careful. So we got that cleaned up. So I'm going to put it on one side, on the other. Okay, now I can let it back out. Get this back up so we can put our bolt through. So what I'm probably going to do is just pull up on the whole thing just like that so now that we might be able to get the pop and just a little bit better okay. yeah it's so much better than it was so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our bolt on the back side So I'm going to be signing off uh, both sides of the same, so just do the same thing on the other side, the other leaf springs, same thing. So yeah, see y'all later.